Hey guys, today we're gonna check out the Hightail app. True Sound Studios is in your ears. Hey, so if you're watching this video, it's because I have sent you a track, whether it be Rough Mix or a Final Master, with a program called Hightail. Now, Hightail is very simply just like Dropbox and those other file sending companies that let you send uh, files that are larger than 25 megs, which is generally the the max amount an email would let you send. So um, we're gonna first go to the uh, uh, App Store, and this is only going to be for obviously iPhones, but it's gonna be very similar. It's kind of like the same thing um, with Android and whatnot. Um, so we're gonna go and we're gonna type in uh, let's see high tail. And you don't want to get, sometimes it comes up, uh, there's some other Hightail one, but we want to use, we want to do this one. Okay, that's what it's going to look like. It just says Hightail. It is not the Hightail squares, I believe it is. So we're going to download this real quick. And just give it a second. So this is going to allow you to actually get your song right onto your smartphone without having to download to a computer and then sync your phone and then you know go through that whole process so okay so it's installed so we're gonna open it up and if it doesn't look like this you're not using the right one so most people are gonna have to um, create their own uh, create their own account right there um, I already have an account Okay, so now that we are all logged in and we have our Hightail app downloaded, um, you're gonna try to you're gonna find a button that says Tracker. Now up top here, it's gonna say Received and Sent. Now because I actually have sent these files to individuals, uh, this is gonna be a little different for yours. So you're gonna actually click on Received, and then. Click on your email that I've sent you. There should only be one. In this case, I have a ton of them. <laughs> we want to click on files, and then we're going to download the one he sent. Well, we'll say it's this one. So it's automatically going to start downloading the track. So now we could play it right from here, but the problem is, is this is not actually downloaded to the app. And what we're going to do is download it to the storage that's actually built into this app. So we want to go to more and then go to save. And it's going to ask us to choose a destination folder. We'll just do... We'll do the Senec folder. And then hit save. So, now that it's in our Senec folder, now we have to click on this one more time. And it's actually going to download it yet again. But then we're going to click this offline button, okay? This offline button, what it's going to allow us to do is now this is not going to require the internet to be able to access and play our file. So what we're going to do is I'm going to pull this up and we're going to put on airplane mode, which means no internet connection at all or cell data. We're going to go to Hightail. Um, yep, got it. But see, our only file that's accessible because we downloaded is this file right here. And you can actually play and listen to the track without being connected to any sort of cell data or Wi-Fi. So if you're flying on a plane or whatever, you can have it, or if you just don't want to download it a hundred times, I do recommend that you are connected to Wi-Fi when you do this because it definitely does eat up some data because it has to download it multiple times. Otherwise, uh, have fun, enjoy this app and listening to your track without having to download it many times. See you guys.